And finally, Angela Levin, how do you see this kingship, right? It's, it's very tempting to see it as a sort of interregnum between, you know, this very much loved queen that's been there virtually all our lives and then the very popular William and Kate, who's sort of like the people's choice, the uh, magazine cover couple who everyone uh, is hungry to see on the throne. It's like he's being squeezed between them. Is that how you see it or do you think he really will make his mark? I think he will really make his mark. I know he's been waiting um, to say what he wants to do, how he wants to m improve things, modernise things, but he didn't want to do that while his mother was alive because he thought it was very unkind. And as she got older, 80s and 90s, she didn't want to make changes. So I'm sure he will. We will hear them after the coronation. Um, I don't think he's in between. He's brought Prince William with him to discuss the coronation, they work together on climate change, they're working very well together, they're getting on better than ever, so I'm told. And so um, I think there will be a gentle appearance of Prince uh, William to help his father and his father will help him. I think it's going to work out tremendously well, but he's a very fit man extraordinarily fit and I, you know we don't know how long anybody's going to last but I think he will be there as long as he possibly can because he yearns to do and follow the Queen in actually giving everything he has to the country and the Commonwealth.